okay, so this is weird. I don't know why I'm recording this really, but my wife and son are away for a couple of days and they won't believe me when they come back. So I thought I might as well start recording, see if anything else happens in the meantime. Get it on tape if there is anything, but weird. So last night I woke up thinking that I heard the telephone ringing downstairs. I was in the bedroom obviously. By the time I came down it had stopped ringing. Fine. thought wrong number. It was late at night. Don't usually get scam calls that late at night. So I rang 1471 as you do to find out who had rung. And it said that nobody had called for about a week, which is what I thought prior to that. So, went back up to bed. A few minutes later, I heard the phone ringing again. So I came down a lot more quickly this time because I wasn't half asleep. Picked up the phone, pressed to answer the call. Nobody there. They'd hung up already. So again, I called 1471 and again it said nobody had called for a week. It's odd, yeah, maybe a glitch. I don't know. But then there was some strange bangings in the corner of the room. And it's just, it's just bizarre. I can't explain it. I don't know if you heard that then, that was my scanner coming to life all by itself. It's been doing that the past couple of days. It's like it's warming up, but I haven't been near it. So, yeah, just one of those other things sent to spook me out when nobody else is in the house with me, I guess. And yeah, I probably watched too many horror films. Probably watched too much Ghost Watch, all that sort of thing, but you know, I'm kind of bored at the moment, so let's see what happens. This is about my fifth espresso this morning, so we'll take it from there. Same day delivery from Amazon. Wife's gonna kill me when she gets home. Nice. Just need something to happen now. So there are two main reasons why I got this new camera, despite my SLR no doubt having a better picture quality. The first is it's easier to turn around like that. And secondly, it's apparently got a night vision mode. How well that works for a cheap camera from Amazon, I have no idea, but let's give it a go. 
I guess. So if I switch off the lights and switch on the night vision mode, let's see what it does. It's lights off, find a button in the dark. And that is apparently in night vision mode. Looks like it's doing something. Even if that's something, it's probably just making my face look worse than usual. But, you know, hopefully that will be of some use. We'll see. Maybe later. Maybe never. Anyway, I'm going to bed now because I'm exhausted after not sleeping last night. And I'm sort of hoping that something happens tonight to wake me up. I'm sort of hoping it doesn't because... I'm going to be terrified if it does, but at least I can record it. So, yeah, silver linings. It's very dark at the moment, so hopefully this will... Yeah, yeah. It's not too bad. Anyway, before I go in there... Okay, I have just tried to switch on a night-night, but... It doesn't want to work properly. Flickering, but that's not a good sign. Well, okay, that's a good start. And yes, I do sleep with the night light when my wife isn't here. I don't care. Whatever.
Hello? Hello? Did you hear that? Hello? Hello? Called June twenty six two. So it's still saying we're only called a few days ago, a couple of weeks, something like that. It's just, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to say to that one. switching the camera light on.
you must not either. Hello? As if anybody's going to answer. At least tomorrow, ghost. That's the kitchen door. Shut. Penny's out there in another room. With the door also shut. Or at the doors. is what it sounded like. And that wasn't there just now.
it's about six o'clock in the morning. I've just got up, probably slept two, three hours last night, I don't know. But there's the ball. I didn't dream it. It's right there where I left it. I'm not sure I want to even go near it, to be honest. for now and pick it up later. Very much solid. It's no less scary just seeing it that they laid there this morning. Been reviewing the footage from last night and can't stop looking at it. It's terrifying. That ball just, I still can't see where it came from, which I guess is good because it proves it came from nowhere, maybe. But well, that's scary. Anyone who knows me knows I hate to see myself on screen, so this whole experiment, I guess you call it, is pushing me well out of my comfort zone. As you can tell, I'm not a like, natural talker, if that's a thing. But this, this is just... I wasn't lying, I really did have a pounding headache. That's what two nights of lack of sleep tends to do to me. But the real reason I wanted time from work was to watch the footage, analyse it, and dig deeper into what could be causing whatever was going on. Maybe look at the history of the house, the area, I spent some time doing that and came up with absolutely nothing. The only thing was that there was a castle fairly nearby that is apparently haunted, but I've only walked there once or twice. 
unless something clung to me, then I don't think that's it. Bit of a disappointing day all around, but it got me out of work, so I can't really complain. so tired I'm gonna have to go for a nap but for obvious reasons I really don't want to go upstairs at the moment so I've set up makeshift bed in here but for extra security I've moved the camera that is usually focused on Penny and her pen just to keep an eye on her now here pointing directly at me wave to the camera looks like it's working so doubt anything that happened but you know whatever makes me feel better because quite honestly I Wish I never started this. So, I'll tell myself. Blinds are up. I hope that camera caught that. I don't know what is going on. But that is. What? What? Wait, I'm going to have to get my other camera because I'm not sure you can see that properly. There are handprints on the window. They look wet. What? I'm going to get my other camera. Try and focus. What is going on? If something's trying to get out with that force, is there something else in here that's worse? It was only when I started reviewing the footage that I realised I didn't make it entirely clear. Those handprints were inside the doors. Like someone had pressed against them from right there inside the house with their wet and slightly slimy hands. It was as if they were trying to get out.
so I'm just heading downstairs because I woke up feeling quite hungry but as usual there's some sort of strange noise going on like water running sounds like the tap's on there's no way I left that on I would have noticed quite easily Seems to be something with this spirit, whatever it is, and water with wet handprints on the inside of the door. Then that.
next thing I knew. This is getting so dangerous. I'm scared. I am. I'm scared. This is scary. The fact that I was now seemingly in physical danger was disturbing, but I can remember nothing of the previous night other than putting on the toast, then jumping when the doorbell rang and discovering I had a knife in my hand. I seemed more concerned about answering the door than anything else at the time. Smack the door. It felt like either something was playing with me or there were two opposing forces in the house, one that was trying to hurt me and the other trying to stop it from hurting me. So this might be nothing, but I wanted to record this as I just discovered what my scanner was doing found a directory full of scan images. There it goes again. No, that was just popped up. But the weird thing is blank. Everything's blank. This might not be able to see it, but there's a very faint outline there. Maybe. I mean, if my scanner was playing up, it's probably just dust or goodness knows what. I wonder. Let's try. Photoshop. It's definitely something. Let's just try something. Um. Looks like a hand, two hands, on someone's face. That is... Weird. Just copy those. Well. Please just, <laughs> I'm just asking, please, 
No, I know. I know. I know. But... Right, fine. Okay. Just be careful. Right. That's all I'm asking. Just be careful. Call me when you're finished, yeah? Okay. I love you. sequence of images got me thinking. What is a sequence of images? A film or animation really. So let's try something. I don't know if I want to try it. I'm going to import all of the images as a sequence into After Effects. Don't know if you can see, but that's that. Oh no. That's worrying. It looks like exactly what I was hoping it wouldn't be. Let's try and just do it more or less the same way as I did in Photoshop. Fell in. No, I know, I know. I'm just joking. That's good. Good. Can I be back okay anyway? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm worrying too much. Just not used to you being away, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I'll talk to you later then. Okay. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <sighs> the events of the previous couple of nights and the unexplainable images of my wife shown up on my computer had shaken me to my core. But I was determined to continue trying to work out what was going on. And when Google can't provide the answers, there's only one alternative. Like in any good marriage, when my wife went away, she left me with a set of rules to follow. One of which was tidy office, so... Alright, put together some new furniture, tidied up, even got room for my new monitor as well there. It's not too bad, hopefully that'll be alright. Second rule was, not too many takeaways. Oops. Third rule, bit of a catch-all, but don't get into any trouble seen how that's going so far and she's gonna kill me but it's Amazon's fault this is gonna be a bad idea okay I 
think we're set up and ready to give this a go. Created some ambiance with some battery power cable. So the smoke alarm doesn't go off. And just a few tea lights just to make it a bit more natural. Here I've set up the cheap Amazon camera to be pointing directly at the board. So we should be able to see pretty well if anything happens. Ha <laughs> ha. So I'm just going to place this camera down there and make a start. Part of me is terrified about this. That part is the part that's seen too many films, obviously. The other part is more rational and thinks absolutely nothing is going to happen, so it's a waste of time and money, just like most things I try and do, really. So, you know, what have we got to lose? <sighs> Even so, that first part is uh, almost winning. I suppose let's give it a go. Is there anybody here? Would anyone like to come talk to me? Just nonsense. I would have booed myself if that gone to no just now. Don't worry, I asked that. Is there anybody here? Is there more than one person here? If so, how many? Anybody here? Anyone at all? Anyone? Does nobody want to talk to me? Anybody here? Do you mean me any harm? Do you mean my family any harm? Part of me is relieved, part of me is disappointed. I have to admit. Is there anybody here?
moved. That was not saying yes just now. What was it that I asked? I can't remember what the last question was that I asked, but I better have a look and check. <laughs> check. <laughs> I've been woken up from what was a surprisingly good sleep to find a dog in the bed. Say hi. Hi. I could have sworn I shut her in a pen last night. So how on earth she got up here? I have no idea. Must have left the catch off somewhere. I also thought I'd close the door behind her. That's what I normally do. Should we go and find out how you got out? How did you get out? How did you get out? Should we go and find out? Let's go have a look. Let's see what I did wrong. Let's go see what I did wrong. Mm. Hey, hey, move over. for obvious reasons after what I put away in there last night. are open. Oh my goodness. 
try not to have the doors open. Oh my. Everything. Let's see better. Everything is okra. Just everything. Close. Close it. Close it. That's just so too weird. This door's open, of course. That's how she got out. Oh my goodness. Literally everything is open. I just want to check something. Please don't. Please don't be what I think is going to happen. Penny, come. Penny, come. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. I come to the beach at uh, 6 40 a.m. Couldn't stay in that house. Just felt claustrophobic somehow. There's no way you can feel claustrophobic here. That's for sure. They feel safe about the beach, and that house did not feel safe. I feel like maybe I've never somehow upset whatever it was that was in the house, which was the last thing I wanted to do, obviously. Which is why I wanted to talk to it yesterday because I thought if there's something there, let me know when I can help get rid of you, I guess. Maybe I didn't want to be got rid of, I suppose. But seeing that board back out again, that freaked me out. I left the, I didn't even get dressed. So I out. poured up outside my house as I was getting closer I noticed the front door was wide open I had definitely closed that on the way out to the beach this is getting worse I hate this I hate this you wait here a minute I won't be long, hopefully. Right there.
Now. Now. No, can't do it still. Can't do it. Penny, going back to the beach. Going back to the beach. Self, I'm afraid. That was just too, too scary. Now we're to sleep yet again, of course.
sleep. Not I probably ever had. Oh, goodness. Don't know exactly what time it is. Kept waking up during the night and checking to see if anything was happening. All seemed to be quiet. So I think I managed to fall asleep on and off. Check pennies, okay. Can't see anything happening at the moment, but didn't expect it would be in the light. So glad they're coming back today. I don't think I can do this for another night. It's just crazy. This is going to keep happening while they're still here. It's been about two weeks since everything happened and nothing has happened since my wife and son have been back. My wife's just popped out and my son's back at school now so I thought I'd 
do a quick video just I guess closure of sorts because yeah the way it was left and feel very tidy not that everything can have a proper ending obviously but so since then there have been no noises no open cupboards no phantom balls in the middle of the night so I still wake up during the night thinking I've heard something and then I'm awake for hours but whatever it was here seems to have gone assuming there was something here in the first place but I don't know what else it could have been it's either gone or hiding I guess which is something of a worry and thought but it's weird I almost feel disappointed in a way though it was scaring me it's kind of you know something special something different not everyone gets to experience but at the same time I didn't want to put my wife through that or some of my son of course I haven't even shown them this this is just for me for now at least it seems to me now and it will probably always seem the way to my wife and son that our house is not haunted the end, I guess.